Now, News 3 Sports with Mitch Brown. If you get to the afternoon practices early enough, you'll see Pryor laying in this position catching balls he can't see. It's a part of the attention to detail that he's developed while chasing perfection in his craft. See, I'm nowhere near these guys level, but the thing is, all that matters is that you start. As for Virginia, they've had some tasty wins here in the KFC Yum Center over the years. But we have just as many great food spots, so it's date night. Where are you taking the wife to? Where's your go-to spot? Wow. And I urge all UVA fans to go check in with your doctor because all that chest pain <laughs> they've had the past couple of games. You've got the baby face right now, but will we see the beard and Kangol combo on the sidelines this year? You never know what happens when you get to uh, no shave November. We've heard it about college basketball time and time again. I want to see more offense. Where's the scoring at? Now we're just three days away from the NFL draft and the Redskins have their eyes on a board full of prospects. Problem is they don't know who's going when and where before they pick at number 15. In middle school, Jada was bullied because of her weight, but she's ducked and dodged through those adversities, and now she says she's better than ever. A first for a lot of these Old Dominion players, a 9.50 p.m. tip-off here tonight at the XL Center here in Hartford. Are these medals really that heavy? You know, they are heavy. Uh, they're probably about five pounds. Sheesh. Maybe. Here you go. Mind if I get it? Wow. No, he, he's not lying. There's been nothing but rain and mud here the past couple of days, but today, a very special day. Fan Appreciation Day, and the rain couldn't stop this parade. Those moans and gripes, they're ancient now because this top-ranked unit dominated here again today at MetLife Stadium. There's more than one way to relax at the beach on a Saturday. We call it bar therapy to an extent. They attract the crowd and all down the boardwalk, people ask, how do they do this stuff? When I first started doing push-ups, I couldn't do 10. Now I can do 1,000. It's the first step. We're on a journey. It's a journey that started in 2012 with only a handful of people. Now the Guy Body Squad fills the Hillier Fitness Park every weekend with some of the most acrobatic folks in Hampton Roads. Well, this is like church for me. And a lot of these guys, man, we just have a place we can come and build. Bill is people, Bill is men. People have kids, families, jobs, stresses. You know, we all just came together because we, we, we love each other and we just want to spread positivity. See, I'm nowhere near these guys level, but the thing is, all that matters is that you start. It's not just reps, it's not just like, quote unquote, getting swole or getting big. It's about just your health or your vitality. Start, people starting where they are. You have to try first, and then you have to keep going. Now what they're doing looks crazy, but guess what? None of them came out of the womb doing backflips and 360s. It does not get easier, you just get stronger. Everybody has their niche, and then we all learn from one another. Like it's not, it's not just like somebody's running the show, like we all are co-creators of this. No judgment and no prior experience needed. They're hoping to send their one simple message throughout the rest of the 757. You no, know, let them know that they can have fun while changing their bodies instead of, you know, dreading hours on the treadmill. We're just trying to be a source for people to come and get healthy again and have a good time doing it. This is how we change the world, man. One person at a time, starting with your own temple. What ended up being a game-saving tackle wasn't just any big time play. The who inside the helmet made this a monumental moment. After I made it, I was just like, so thrilled. I was like, yes, I did that. After Amanda Sheffs made the textbook trip up, the crowd in the sideline erupted, and just like a trick play would, she caught the other team off guard. After the tackle, a couple of the guys on the, on the other team had said, wait, is that a girl? And Brendan turned to them and said, yes, that's a girl. I got, I was excited. I, I ran right up to her when I saw that. She kind of like saved saved us. When she made the play, I basically was on the phone saying, oh my God, she saved a touchdown for us and that's huge. Yeah! She dances, swims, and plays soccer, but it was in middle school when she knew that football was her field of choice. I'm just very aggressive. My dad knows that about me and he knows that uh, I like to hit people and I like to like do contact sports and get in the action. So when she approached her parents originally about getting in the action, there was no doubt they were on her team. It was kind of a okay, sure. Like if you're if you're good at it and that's what you want to do, like he was there was nothing that was gonna he wasn't gonna stand in my way. Before making the tackle that saved six points, Amanda was already having a memorable night. At halftime, she was a finalist on Grassfield's homecoming court, making it a night she never could have imagined happening at the start of her senior year. A homecoming is always a, a fun week and we enjoy like spirit week and we enjoy the game. I didn't imagine it to be like that, but 
like when it came, I was like, this it was just a great night. Her message to other girls out there hoping to blaze a trail is simple. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. So many times I've been like discouraged and like maybe I shouldn't do this. I had that dream to play football and just one day I decided to make that dream come true and just play and I couldn't have made a better decision because football is just what I want to do. That type of confidence continues to help her tackle the odds stacked against her. Reporting in Chesapeake, I'm Mitch Brown for the Geico Sports Report. Now, News 3 Sports with Mitch Brown. 28 points, 27 and a half. The numbers changed, but the predictions and probabilities didn't. Nobody gave Old Dominion a sliver of a chance to come out on top as the Monarchs welcomed 13th ranked Virginia Tech to the 757 for the first time since 1968. The only people who expected the Monarchs to win was the guys inside the ODU locker room. They were confident all week long. Campus was packed out all day long. The game ball was dropped down from the sky, so getting it done through the air would prove to be the theme of this game. Fourth quarter, Hokies up 28-21. Backup QB Blake LaRussa says, yeah, about that. He connects with Travis Fulgham in the end zone. That touch was golden tonight. Tie ball game. Next possession for the Monarchs, Jeremy Cox is going to rumble, young man rumble. 18 yards to the house for Cox. He eclipsed 100 yards rushing tonight. ODU takes a 35 to 28 lead. The crowd going crazy at this point. So the game is tied with five minutes to go. 35, 35, La Russa dials up the aerial attack again. He calls on Jonathan Duhard in double coverage. Big time players make big time plays. La Russa. Four passing touchdowns on the night. Duhart finished with three touchdown grabs as well as Old Dominion shocks the world and upsets Virginia Tech 49-35 to get their first win of the season. 